okay. Hello everyone. Let's get this started in one second. Uh, before we going through, good morning. So we are uh, we are here today for Elvina's intern uh, intern presentation, and in here we have uh, COVID uh, from PD, also uh, Kawira, Ferren, and Jocelyn. Okay, I think we are ready to go. So without further ado, uh, I give the floor to Elvina. For Elvina, maybe you can yeah, start your presentation. Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Elvina, and today I would like to have an infant revolution presentation where I'm going to talk about my contributions and my experience during my internship in Bukit Vista. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you for all of you who have already come to my IGPs and then for Ryan as well for organizing everything for me. And let's start the IGPs. Okay, so the first one, uh, this is the overview about what I'm going to talk for today. So the first one is about the operational, the BI operational, and then the finance operational as well. And then the second topic is the onboarding project uh, about what project that I have I handled during my internship, and then what do I learn and then what do I get and the recommendations. Okay, so the first one is about the BI operational. Uh, so what do we do in finance uh, in BI operational is basically we reply the inquiry in the chat. Uh, from the HAR team. So uh, in Slack channel, we usually have a BI HAR fighting uh, where the HAR team usually give the inquiry and then uh, the one who delegate to do the BI operational should reply the inquiry. And then uh, we also need to negotiate with the owner and then chat the owner to discuss a thing, especially about the price and the services. So usually uh, we always ask the owner whether the price that is uh, given by the customer or the guest is uh, suitable or not with the property owner. And then for the services, for example, uh, whether the price is already included the electricity, the drinking water, laundry, and so support. And then uh, we, the BI operational team is also give the recommendation based on the market price that we know. Usually, uh, the references is from COVID practice, uh, COVID practice. And then the second one is the uh, finance operationals. Uh, during my internship, I only do the finance operational for two times, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, what do we do in finance operational? Basically, uh, we sort the we sort and find the unpaid booking on leaders. Usually we handle the finance operational for one week. So we have to sort for the transaction in one week as well. And then after that, uh, we list all the booking into the spreadsheet. Usually we just need to list the direct booking since uh, from the booking from OTA, like let's say uh, Airbnb and then booking.com, uh, the OTA will transfer automatically to the property owner. So what we need just uh, list the direct booking because we need to transfer manually to the property owner. Uh, and then list the booking into the spreadsheet, uh, which we call as pay, uh, payout history list, so that it is added to the queue to be paid. And then after that, uh, we add a payout on leader according to the details given. And then after that, uh, we transfer the payment to the property owner and then the BB account, uh, the 8487 uh, account, based on the commission given. Okay. And then the next one is about the onboarding project. Uh, so I have handled many projects uh, during my internship. Uh, the first one is a cool PNL. I believe this is the first project that I've handled and uh, that I propose as well. Uh, during my research plan presentations. Uh, so basically, I'll just uh, review a little bit about what is a cool uh, PNL. So equal PNL is come from equal basis of income statements. If I could give the definitions, the equal is actually a counting method where uh, revenue and expenses are recorded when the transition occurs rather than uh, when the payment is received of or made. So uh, before I start the internship, uh, during the trial, basically, uh, we are given the task to look for the equal uh, the income statement of the BB. And then in that time, I realized that 
uh, the company is still adopting the cash basis. Uh, so uh, in that time, I have like to give like the recommendation that uh, it's uh, it's better to use the core rather than uh, cash basis because uh, most company usually adopting a core basis as well. And then uh, because uh, a core PNL uh, is more refracting the transaction history of the company. And then uh, we can also like see the history, the financial ratio more uh, correctly, if I could say. And then uh, what do I do is discover misstatement of items in previous income statement. So uh, previously in the income statement, there is uh, a lot of expenses that is uh, should be recognized uh, in each month. But in BV, they record it only one time in that month. So let's say if, uh, if I could give the example is Tokyo. Uh, previously, Tokyo is uh, only been recognized in one month. Meanwhile, it should be recognized in each month yearly since we subscribe the token for one year, which is uh, the expenses should be recorded uh, divided by 12 season yet. So uh, this is one of the examples of the misstatement that I found in the income statement with, uh, before. And then uh, I do the restatement and classification of some expenses. So uh, if you could see the, what is that called? The echo panel right now, you will see that uh, at the very, very bottom part, you will see that there is uh, the net income before and after I choose the method. So uh, the net income based on cash basis and then the net income based on echo basis. And then you can also see the variances and then what is the factor cost the difference. Yes, and then uh, for what should we improve from this echo panel? Uh, I think for the first is uh, being working right now, the automation in preparing a core PNL by using uh, Stero, I believe. And then after that, uh, recognize, um, more, uh, recognize more items like, for example, depreciation expense and realized gain from investment. So uh, currently in our core PNL, we haven't, we haven't put the depreciation expense as a part of the expenses. Uh, during the friction that we have last time, uh, because last time, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the friction we have is uh, we haven't had uh, what we call as the recording the depreciation, but I think uh, for now it's already have the depreciation. So I think it will be good if uh, the finance team could recognize the depreciation as well in the account in the future. And then uh, the next one is a cash flow statement. So uh, basically cash flow is the net amount of cash and cash equivalent being transferred in and out of the company. So previously, the income statement is this cash basis, right? Uh, the reason is so we can know what is the history of the cash in and out from the company. And then uh, when I came into the echo, it means that we cannot uh, have that kind of report anymore, right? That's why I'm suggesting the cash flow statements as the substitution of the uh, uh, the accrual PNLs. So what do I do is uh, basically I'm tracing the financial transaction history from the bank account from uh, 6056, 8487, 7467, and so on and so forth. And after that, i creating the statement of cash flow based on the uh, tracing of the financial history. And then uh, what should be improved? I think this one is same like the previous one. Uh, automation is statement of cash flow. And then the second one, uh, adding the PayPal as one of the references to create the statement of cash flow. Because uh, basically the statement of cash flow right now is only focusing on the transaction history of bank account, but not in PayPal. So it will be good if we use uh, the PayPal as the references as well. And then I think for the second recommendation, I don't know if this one is, is can be executable or not, but it will be good if we can link the data from the bank account to bigger. So uh, in finance operation now, usually we adding the payout to the bigger, right? And then after that, uh, we also need a separate stations where we could transfer the payment uh, manually. I think it will be good if uh, at the moment we transfer the, no, the moment we're adding the payout to the bigger and then it's automatically transferred to the property owner. I think it will be good uh, recommendations. 
I think the new team uh, should work for this one. Okay, and then the next one is the second, uh, not the second, the third project that I've handled. This is the investment. For the investment, uh, currently I'm working with Vera and then uh, CoPD uh, as the mentor. And then uh, maybe if I could say, uh, this is one of the mega projects that I ever have. And then uh, I, uh, I think I start this uh, investment project from the zero. So uh, what do I do basically is I discovered the most compatible platform for the investment. So currently we use uh, Neonhot Mobile as the platform. Uh, but back then, uh, this, this come up with the decision uh, based on Manasa and I uh, discussing before. So uh, previously we are choosing three platforms, which is uh, Neonhot and then uh, iPod and then Stockbit and then uh, we've come up with the decision that we are going to use Neopods. Uh, the reason is first because uh, for, for personal reasons, uh, uh, I, I personally use the Neopods as well. So uh, it's not going to waste time anymore to like learning the interface, learning the platform and the functionality and so, so forth. So it will be uh, efficient if I could say. And then the second one, the second reason why I choose the Neopods as the platform is because of the features. So if you use the Neopods, uh, basically uh, you will you can do the technical analysis using the platform. So uh, you don't need to like uh, doing the technical analysis in the separate uh, separate platform, like let's say a Kadizio for now. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, I sound that like I'm promoting the Neopods, but I'm, I'm just declared that uh, the reason why I choose Neopods. And then, yeah. And then the second one is set up the accounts. So I set up the account by myself. Uh, and then I, I could say that uh, Neopods have one weakness uh, where the where we couldn't uh, set up the account by ourselves, but we need to ask the broker to help us to set up the account. I think that is one of the weakness of the Neopods. So it took a long time to set up the account because uh, this account is under uh, Wayana's account, uh, under Wayana's name. So I need to uh, keep uh, in track with her to ask her every single data that I need to set up the account. So it's kind of hectic, I think. And then the third one is I create the Dropbox paper and that line. And then I also do, not I, we and uh, Vera and I do a research and uh, implement and get an insight on the, uh, what we are doing. So basically, this, uh, this one is like the operational as well because we've done the research almost every single week. Yeah. And then what should be improved is I think we can like seeking from the expansion, expansion opportunity um, because right now we are doing the investment in, in the nation stocks. And then uh, I believe that there is a lot of the investment uh, area that we could uh, do. Like for example, maybe uh, we can start doing uh, the investment in the US stocks or maybe in crypto is if there is a, someone who is capable to uh, invest in crypto. Uh, and then this one is my last project, I think. Uh, this one, uh, not the last, the fourth one, uh, which is online assessment. So this one is actually the task given by the HR team. Uh, to give the online assessment to the future interns candidate. So we basically like creating the questions uh, for the candidate to be answered. Uh, so if I could uh, explain in general, uh, the, the assessment is divided into three sections. The first one is role of understanding. And then the section two is about the essay. And then the section three is about the study cases. In section one, we are talking about the role understanding of the hospitality company and then the role of the company and uh, the role of the company in the company. And then for the section two, we are talking about essay where we are giving like uh, cases, a small uh, and easy cases. And then we expected the candidate to be answered correctly based on the condition that we give. And then the section three uh, is the study cases. Uh, which we are giving the cash flow questions. Uh, in the cash flow, I hope that uh, the candidate could answer well because I believe that our cash flow statement in V3 right now is still need uh, to be fixed. So I expect the candidate to uh, find the minor mistake that we have right now. And uh, for the online assessment, 
uh, we are work, I working with I'm working with Bella together to create this one. And then the last at the list, uh, we have the Thrive KPI project. Uh, this one is still ongoing project. Uh, I've already given the handover to Farron. I believe Farron uh, also attend to the ICPs. And then uh, what do I do is uh, we create the green sequel for chart. And so if you could see the chart in the slide, we can see that uh, there is a whimsical chart about the type API. The first one is a revenue, this one is uh, expenses. For the revenue part, uh, it's already been done by Kalindis. Kudos to Kalindis for this one. And then for the expenses, uh, I've tried by myself. And then uh, we've come up the decision to evaluate the expenses. We use the qualitative approach by uh, giving the questionnaire to the user who use the, the subscriptions. And then after that, we create the sample for the subscription assessment. Uh, this one, the example is zero. So I'm working on giving the sample to the subscription assessment. Uh, and then to give like the overview to the next uh, candidate or the next intern to hand over my project, which is Baron, to uh, know how to do the assessment. So uh, inter like the interpretations, the result of the investment in quantitative approach as well. Okay, and then uh, finished with the onboarding project, uh, I've also uh, list down what do I learn and then what do I get during my internship in the Vista. So for what do I learn, uh, the first one is called value implementations. Uh, I think in Bukit Vista, I've come to realize that uh, core value is really, really important to the company. Even during the trials, during the trials, I do remember that every kind of uh, question given should be answered by a uh, core value implementation. Like, uh, let's say, for example, uh, when you, uh, when somebody asks you a question, and then uh, in you have to answer it, and then you have to say, uh, I answer this one because I believe that step on post core value is really is really important for me and so on so forth. And then the next one is uh, the soft skills. Uh, I also learned the soft skills uh, such as communicating art and then how to negotiate and then how to uh, uh, explain something uh, to uh, to the people who maybe not really know what what we are talking like. For example. I'm from the finance team. And then uh, let's say not everyone in the BP uh, really aware about finance terminology. And then we have to explain it to them uh, in the easy way so others can uh, actually understand what we are going to talk. And then after that, we also learn about new tools. Uh, so uh, I've learned a lot of tools during my internship. I could say, uh, like for example, uh, Trello and then Google Calendar and then uh, Redesk, Deeper, and then another tools as well. I, if I could, if I remember, uh, the first week during my internship, during my onboarding period, I really struggling with the tools because like there's a lot of tools that we have to learn in the same time and then uh, we have to adjusting. I think it's really quite a hard time for me, but uh, as the time goes, uh, I can adjust to the tools right now. And then I think it's one of the greatest achievements that I've ever had in BP as well. And then the last one is uh, theory and practice could be different. This one I learned from the finance uh, because like uh, this is actually my first time during the internship, right? And then uh, from what I know, I know the theory very well, but uh, when it comes to practice, it's not uh, always seem like the theory. That's what I learned. Like. And then uh, what do I get is, of course, I get a new friend and relation. Uh, I've got a lot of followers on my Instagram. And then I've also got a lot of relation in LinkedIn, thanks to uh, Bukit Vista. And then I hope that uh, I could keep maintaining the relation with uh, the friends and the people who I know in Bukit Vista. And then uh, the next one is feedback and improvement. So uh, in BP, we know that there is like a P2P feedback sessions where the mentors and mentees is come together into one session and then uh, talking about what is 
what should be improved and then what we are good at right now. And then it really, really helps me because uh, during the P2P feedback, uh, I know what is I really need to improve. Like for example, uh, I've come to realize that uh, maybe I have the capability on doing something, but sometimes I'm not really, really confident to like, uh, in, to, like uh, speak out of my ideas. And then during the P2P, uh, and I believe Kak, Kak Lilis tell me that you are doing really, really good, but sometimes you need to improve your confidence. And then in that time, I realized that I think that is one of my weakness and then I should improve this one. So uh, if I could say P2P feedback is really, really uh, encourage me to become a better person. Uh, I guess that, oh yeah. So the next one is about recommendation that I could give. Uh, the first is taxation project. Uh, during my internship, I've come to realize that actually Bukit Vista is not really, really aware of the taxation payment of the company. So I think that if there is someone who is capable enough to do like the, uh, who understand enough about the tax, uh, then maybe uh, they can help out the project about taxation. And then the next one, integrating data. This one is uh, based like uh, based on the improvement that I mentioned in the previous project. That it will be good if we could integrate the data from the BCR account to the bigger system. So uh, when we add the payout to bigger, it will be automatically uh, transfer the payment to the property owner. Okay, I think uh, that's all the about the intern graduation presentations. Uh, thank you very much for all the attention. Thank you. Okay, hey, thank you, Alvina. Such a great in uh, presentation. Maybe before we are going through, uh, I'd like to hear from Kofi D. Maybe Kofi D. How how your opinion about Alvina's? Okay. Uh, hi everyone. My name is Fidi from PD. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> technically not wrong. Uh, I am uh, actually also in BI as uh, data science and data analyst, and also help around with uh, finance a bit. Um, Elvina, yeah, very ini ya, journey ya, very interesting. Dari, dari, from the beginning, yang very quiet, and then at last she extend lo, uh, to everyone watching, she she extended for another month ya. Uh, supposedly I want her to extend more ya, but she don't want because she want to complete her thesis. So after she complete her thesis, I will get back to her. <laughs> okay, but. Elvina initially was very quiet and then very, uh, especially in discussions. She's very quiet in discussions. Uh, didn't express her ideas, although we know that uh, she has great potential in her. Uh, she knows a lot of the theories, as she mentioned before, uh, which is helpful. But when she executes it, I think she realized as well that there are things that uh, should be modified from the theory to fit, uh, to fit the practical, other set, uh, practical thing that we have. Alvina is one of the, uh, let's say, the founder of the fundamentals of finance in BV, along with uh, Bella and also uh, David. Uh, she built the first PNL, yeah, Alvina also, yeah, uh, the PNL statement, the manual one, uh, and we help to make it more, make it easier for the finance team to actually recap uh, this. Uh, operational thing every month and it's been going around maybe even three or four months uh it's actually achieved in the first month that alvina uh, took her in, started her internship and then uh, just like what she mentioned before i think uh, she's most passionate about the investment project uh along with previously manasa now with vira uh very detailed oriented um and she knows a lot about uh, this investing thing. I actually learned a lot of things from her as well. Um, I don't know. Very nice lah. Uh, if she apply to any of your place, <laughs> take it, man. <laughs> kita aja mau ambil tapi nggak mau. Kita kita nggak mampu buat mengkonvins dia buat ini aja. Uh, buat dia sign. Uh, yeah, but she wants to complete her thesis first lah. Um, so best of luck, Elvina. Yeah, and her achievement here is outstanding. Cannot compare, lah, yeah. Uh, and her interactions with uh, her teammates 
like working in teams as well is very good. Uh, I think she is very liked in the uh, the group as well in BI and also uh, maybe in other chapters as well involved in other chapters as well since BI is actually involved in the uh, is deployed in other chapters to optimize things. So yeah, a lot of achievement, uh, a huge journey for her I think for sure. Uh, up and downs, bisa dilihat. So I think if uh, her story inspires delight to people in Bukit Visa and maybe upcoming interns. So thank you. I think that's it for me. Okay, thank you, Pofidi, uh, for your constructive words. Maybe uh, next I would like to hear from Kawira. Maybe Kawira, you can uh, get your words on the table if possible. Uh, yes, so I think what I'm saying actually is uh, bakal mirip like uh, to COVID. So um, yeah, uh, thank you, Alvina, because I think in the when I was still in trial, I think you helped me a lot in investment. Yeah, because my project in uh, the trial is investment, and uh, you give me some insight about uh, business investment and others and uh i'm very happy that we can work in like especially in yeah investment lah like because yeah we have a lot of interaction in investment like uh with coffee also like uh, we have uh, ups and downs in the scrum and others and uh yeah i think uh, you have a very very good analytic skill and uh your dedication uh, to BV is also uh, very good. Uh, yeah. And mm, yeah, maybe good luck for your thesis and of course for your future, yeah, for uh, uh, the work, yeah, work life. Lah. That's it. Okay. Thank you, uh, Awira, for the words. Uh, lastly, I, I want to give everyone the table to speak, maybe for Ferran. Ferran is here or not? I think Ferran is not here. Okay, and since Jocelyn uh, has messaged me that he just said doing because he currently in a quiz, or maybe here, Ferran. Wait. Mm -hmm. Let's wait a sec for Ferran. Ferran, maybe uh, you want to say something about Elfina's presentation? Okay, I don't really have much to say because we just know each other like a week ago. But thank you, Chi, for the guidance because I have no clue when I was an intern. And then I think based on what Kofi said and Kowira said, you're like, a very very content person and uh i think although we all we all, all we just met a week ago i already learned a lot from you so uh, i think that's it okay thank you then Ferran. uh for me uh i think you did great for elvina uh, from your last internship uh, yeah, I think that's the wrap up for today for Elvina's presentation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for Kofidi, uh, Kawira, Ferran, uh, Jose, and also Elvina itself for attending Elvina's presentation. Yeah, and before... Maybe uh, I would like to say as, as well, uh, apologies to Elvina. Uh, Lilith as the chapter lead couldn't come today, but I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, she's proud of you as well, part of your transformation, yeah. Okay, okay, maybe before uh, I end this meeting, we can take a picture first. Wait, in a count of three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, guys, uh, that's all for Elfina. We wish you all the best luck in the future and wish you all of you guys have a good day. Also, stay healthy and have a great day. See you, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, everyone, thank you for coming. Thank you, guys. Go eat. Bye.